to the knife wear sharpening video. My name is Naoto. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Ohayo gozaimasu, konnichiwa, konbanwa. Whenever you're watching. Um, today, what I'm gonna talk about is the uh, sharpening equipments. All we have here is knife wear sharpening equipments. Anywhere from 220 grit uh, sharpening stones all the way up to 8,000 grit sharpening stones. So as all other accessories. Sharpening is like a sanding a wall with a sandpaper. You start from something very coarse and goes all up to very fine. You could sharpen all the way up to 8,000 grit stone if you like. So let's talk about the sharpening stones. Sharpening stones are made with a whole bunch of abrasives and adhesives. This 220 grit stone, very coarse, fantastic to repair chips or rebeveling or anything like that. Or if you have this knife that's very, very dull that you can actually run on your paw without cutting, this is the, the knife to get the uh, get edge back on. But the edge that you will create is going to be very jagged. So if you try to trim your fat off your meats and stuff like that, it will going to actually tear up your meat very easy. So here we have the this knife for 1000 stone. This stone is very good. This is the fantastic stone to finish your most of your non-Japanese knives like Ustoff, Henkel's, Victory Knox, or Ikea knives, whatever you have. This is fantastic finish. When it comes to Japanese knives, we will always take it up to at least 4,000 grit stone. This is very nice and smooth. You're starting getting a what we call it the silky smooth edge. For those of you who like the extreme sharpness, we have this 8,000 grit stone. 8,000 grit will get your edge as polished as a mirror. You get a very nice silky, oh my god, kind of edge to it. So here's the differences. Differences on not the uh, sharpening stones, I will explain a little bit later, but the uh, some are soakers and others. So we have this accessory called chewing stone. Chewing stone is fantastic tool to maintain your stones nice and flat. As you use your stone, the stone will actually dish out unevenly and when it's dished out unevenly, it's more like a skateboard ramp. Important thing about the sharpening is to make maintain your same angle as you move your wrists so that if you have that skateboard ramp type of the edge, you will get the type of the sharpening stone, you get the edge more concave, like convex like this, rather than very straight. So we use this side down on the stone, go back and forth. We usually run this uh, chewing stone on the coarser stones like 220 or 1000 every two to three knives or every 10 knives. Where fine stones like a 4000, 8000, because they are hard, they don't dish out as fast. So we usually run it probably every 30 knives or every 40 to 60 knives. If you keep your stone nice and flat, maintain them, you can actually use your stone all the way up to as thin as this. You're probably gonna take, for you at home users, probably take up to 20, 30 years, couple of decades. We do go through this stone pro every three or four months. So you can imagine how many knives we sharpen every day. In between, what you want to use is this, what we call it, the Nagura stone. Nagura stones uh, is slightly different for uh, people who knows about the uh, natural Nagura stones. These synthetic Nagura stones work more like an eraser to clean off your grits that's been clogged up on the uh, stones like 4,000 or 8,000 grit. So that's the stones here. We have these two rods, honing rods. They are made with a ceramic. One is, uh, one white one is slightly coarser, equivalent for about three to 4,000 grit. Uh, black one is around 6,000 grit. Fantastic to, for edge maintenance, as well as between the stones taking a burr off. After finishing up your uh, knife with the uh, finishing stones like a 4,000, 8,000, you want to polish your edge. Make sure there is no burr left on the blade. That's when you want to use leather strap. We usually start from the uh, suede side and finishing off the very fine leather side. 
What's really good with the uh, leather strap is this uh, chromium oxide bar. They are like a clay. They will go on top of the a, a suede side of the leather strap. We do have the uh, ones that's actually being applied and we have a chromium oxide bar that's being used for quite a while. This works fantastic to remove the uh, fine bar at the end so that the edge stays at the center, not bending back and forth. Lastly, but not the least, we have the a, a knifeware sink bridge. For those of you who sharpen knives regularly, you know how that the most movement goes. And there's always want to have the, you always want to have a little bit of um, height so that you your knuckles being cleared from your countertops or whatever you're sharpening. Our sink bridge is really fantastic. So, cause you can, as you adjust them, it can go over the sink, as well as if you don't have the space, it has the rubber feet to it, so you can sit down on here that doesn't move around. Thanks for watching. Please check out all the other videos where we go into the in-depth on the sharpening.